this is going to be an ASMR thrift haul. I feel like it's been a few weeks since I've done one of these. <laughs> and so I think how I'm going to do it, because it's collective and there's a lot of stuff, I think I'm going to do probably like half on YouTube and then half on my Patreon for Flush Tear. So if you're not on that and you're curious, there are links down below. Oh, also, if you guys were wondering what this box is behind me, it's my newest sheet in order that finally came in. So I'll be able to do more bikini try-ons for Patreon, as well as a couple like bondage harness ones and some mesh, stretchy mesh dress kind of things. So let's just get started. This one. Is an old vintage ceramic, which light and oop, there's colorful light bulbs. Can you see that? There's colorful light bulbs inside. I paid seven dollars for this, and it is signed 1979. And I was looking online and I couldn't find any other ones with this exact design. So the witch is sewing a patch on the ghost's butt. And there's her sewing scissors and stuff down there, some thread. And then there's a cat. It's got a couple chips in it. But I can fix those. Super, super cute. Actually, I didn't test it to see if the electric components were working and I probably should have but fingers crossed on that I also got this fossil carpet bag and it is velvet and it's in really good shape it was however Ten whole dollars at the thrift store, which is kind of outrageous. But Fossil is a fancy brand. Oh, you'll see Mill in a second. There she is. Come here. Oh, actually, you totally can't see her at all. Okay, hold on. There she is. There's the baby. There's the baby. If you guys have been around for a long time, you kind of saw her grow up because when I first started this channel, she was still kind of little. She's six now. Wow, have I been doing YouTube for that long? So there's that. And then I found this. I was kind of bummed that they didn't have the bottoms. At Goodwill as well, but this is an authentic Gymshark long sleeved workout top in yellow. And it's a cutout in the back, and she just flopped onto my foot. Um, and it's a size medium, and it is $5.98. Things are like 30 bucks. Yeah future me here. I'm just popping in because I forgot to mention something that I've been meaning to mention. Um, this gel nail polish company reached out to me a few weeks ago. They are called Nail Reserve. I'll put some links down below. They sent me some nail polishes and I'm going to be doing either a tutorial or a review or something with them soon. Um, but they accidentally sent me one of the colors in the wrong color so we're gonna wait until i get um, a replacement for that but stay tuned i've never really done like a nail painting video so it could be interesting and then i also found these crazy pants and they are by the brand where is it devil fashion and they're see-through leggings, 
with this velvety material and they lace up the sides. Can you guys hear my neighbor's dogs barking? I know you guys come to this channel for the quality, the quality ASMR experience. Oh, and then there's birds. Do you hear the birds? I think those are the parrots again, which is kind of cool. And at the bottom of this bag, I got this little foam glass candle holder. you guys yeah you can see it's got like these iridescent splotches on it that are really beautiful and it's just black and white and clear striped and it's pretty neat and I paid $2.98 the iridescent splotches are definitely my favorite part and they've got like dots within the dots which is kind of cool ago I heard a lot of like yelping like really pained dog yelping at like 11 p.m. or something maybe it was 2 a.m. I forget it was late I was trying to go to sleep and um, so I had to call the emergency line and was like hey can you guys just patrol the area and see if you can hear any screaming dogs because if there is an animal in pain and I'm not doing anything about it. I feel really guilty, you know? But also, I don't want to go out there and get shot either. So this I found for my mom. I've been finding a lot of good gifts lately. And some of you guys might think that it's weird to buy birthday and Christmas gifts at the thrift store, but my whole family does it. It's just something that we've always done, so. It's not just me being cheap, we're all cheap, but I found this. It's in really good condition. It looks barely used. It is a red fuzzy robe, but it is Calvin Klein. And I was gonna give it to my mom because she often finds Calvin Klein stuff at thrift stores and likes it. So I thought that that would be Good one. And at a different thrift store, I found this set. This is a iridescent mosaic style tissue cover. It's glass. And it was only $2.99, which if I would have went to Goodwill for this one, would have been at least $6. The additional pieces that go with it. For $1.99, I got the little cup. You could put um, toothbrushes in here, or q tips, or whatever. And And this one is the soap dispenser. So it's a whole a nice little kit. And it still has soap in it. Hey, free soap. I didn't check that back at the store. This one didn't have a price sticker, so she just gave me this one for $2. And the last thing that I got at that store was this. It 
It is, it was $4.99. And it's a wall hanging tapestry. Oh, it's upside down. It's a wall hanging tapestry of a vase with tulips, I believe. It's pretty big. It's pretty fancy. It is um, by the brand Real Home and Gift. And I think, I think that is, what does that say? I thought it said depression. It says Impressionism. <laughs> that is all that we have time for in this video. But, um, like I said, I'm about to film the Patreon one next. So, if you're on my Patreon, you'll get a double dose. But, anyway, my question of the day is... Are the flowers starting to bloom again where you're at? I know Australia is like the opposite, um, kind of, when it comes to seasons. Um, Florida, some of our flowers bloom year-round, but some of our trees, which I wasn't expecting before I moved here, because up in Pennsylvania, it's like the trees die for winter, but I didn't think the trees would die for winter down here, but a lot of them do. So a couple of my trees in my yard have been pretty bare and sad get leafy again and it's so nice so are you witnessing any signs of spring where you're at let me know anyway thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful week weekend thursday friday saturday sunday all day hey coming at you from my work floor Thank you to the ones that just stuck around for a little bit.